Bortitol beats Asta and it's not even close. This matchup is like so unfair. It's like comparing Ronnie Coleman to a bunch of broccoli heads. Bortitol is planetary arguably star level all the way up to multiversal if you take exaggerated statements. Asta is maybe multi-continental to planetary at the highest I've ever seen him get to. Literally like comparing LeBron to a toddler. Now in terms of Botato's hacks, they're just way better than Asta. Although I will say Asta has better speed feats. But it won't matter since he can't harm Boruto and Asta will faint from exhaustion. Even before Asta lands a hit on Boruto, Boruto has Uzihiko, which is a better defensive ability than even Gojo's Infinity. It just makes the opponent lose their balance and miss every attack since Boruto's Uzihiko uses the power of the planet's rotation. It'll be the spin. same as Asta trying to fight Boruto inside of a spinning washing Help machine. Step, so let's talk about why Boruto scales higher. Momoshiki made a parallel dimension to the Naruto verse. Whether you take that to mean a parallel universe to the Naruto to universe or just the solar system or at least the star in Momoshiki's dimension. It doesn't matter. It's still a better feat than the entire Black Clover verse. Momoshiki was also further stated to have absorbed a star's chakra. So that's a second piece of evidence for star level Momoshiki. We also learn in the Boruto manga that Momoshiki will override Boruto and the Asutsuki's combat experience is passed on to you and gets overlaid upon your own mind and body. That's why you get stronger, is what Code claims. In short, you instantly become a seasoned warrior if you're able to draw on karma properly. This is why Kawaki, for example, is able to use all of Ishiki's abilities because he's able to draw on karma properly. The possibility is still there that he would be able to extract all of the abilities and powers and past combat experience of Momoshiki. Now that Boruto has Momoshiki's power and he has become 100% Osutsuki, which was anime confirmed in episode 293 alongside the manga, this puts Boruto post time skip now that he's more experienced with his newly awakened Osutsuki powers on a power level greater than Momoshiki. And Momoshiki is greater than Kaguya who created and destroyed six planets. Kaguya herself also being scaled to star level. Because performing a feat like this, you know, multiple planets would actually require a star level amount of energy. Boruto literally has Momoshiki on a leash. <laughs> so it's safe to say that Boruto is easily star level or higher. If we took the universal statement seriously, as opposed to pretending they're exaggerations, then Boruto would be like multiversal in attack potency. Because you can make the arguments that Kaguya didn't create just planets. It says dimensions. And her dimensions, if they are truly universes, would mean that she created multiple universes. Momoshiki as well. The highest I've ever seen us to get to is planetary. Anything beyond that is heavily based on assumptions. As opposed to the feats I've described from the Boruto verse. Where we've actually seen people create or destroy stars, planets, moons and dimensions. But then we also have events that were not animated from the canon novels also further proving these things. So we have 10 star level feats in the Boruto verse. I can go over these in more detail if you want me to scale the Boruto verse or Black Clover verse as a follow up video. Compare this to the Black Clover verse. It has like three statements, not feats of, for example, Lucifer destroying the world and Demon Lick destroying humankind. These kinds of statements aren't supported by any feats or real factual proof. Like they haven't actually performed them. So it's much less likely a form of evidence to prove that they're planetary since the Boruto characters I mentioned actually did those things. Like the statement says Kaguya rewrote. So she destroyed original planets and then recreated them as her own dimensions. So whether it be planet or whether it be universe, that's up for interpretation. And that's why there's such a big debate between Naruto verse being planetary or universal. So these are performed proven feats. It's not just a bluff. So could Asta harm Boruto? Most likely not. So in conclusion, Asta has no win cons and it's not even close. You see, if we took the Asta exaggerated statement seriously to pretend he could harm a low board Boruto, let's low ball him to planetary yeah, just for argument's sake, then we also have to take Boruto's highly exaggerated statements if you're going to take Asta's highly exaggerated statements as their best forms because Asta's highest exaggerated statements is like planetary, whereas Boruto is like multiversal. So whether you take the low balls of each or the high balls, Boruto still wins. And it won't really matter if Asta is faster because Boruto just won't get hurt anyways. So yeah, Boruto wins and it's not even close. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments below. 